Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about .NET MAUI box view control. So here you can see in the UI we have implemented the box view control using the XAML code and uh, this is really important whenever we are doing some type of uh, complex UI design. So uh, let's get started with the video to learn more regarding this box view control. Let's create a new project where we'll just uh, search for Maui and select the first option. Now here I'm just going to create a XAML template.NET Maui project but later in future we might have C sharp template too. So we need to create the C sharp template whenever you are going to start with the C sharp project. So now I'll just remove the line of code over here inside the main page.xaml. So inside the .cs also I'm just going to remove it now our next objective is to discuss about the whole project that is our application starts from the um, that is our app cell you can see over here that means now app cell is going to encapsulate all of our UIs including our main page so here you can see that is inside the local so I'm just going to start my main page whenever our application starts so now inside our main page.xaml we are going to write our UI code over here. Let's select the Android emulator and try to run our .NET blank .NET MAUI project. So here the build is getting started and we'll just soon see the blank .NET MAUI main page that is getting loaded now here i'll just give the title of my page as title equals box view tutorial and here you can, in my right you can see the expected output now we are going to create a box view and you can see the box view is black so we are going to give the color to the box view as allies blue you can see it has filled the whole area of the main page now we can just give any color as you like you can just play around with all the values that you really want to create inside your project now let's put the box view to the center and then see if it works or not so here i'll put the box view to the center as vertical and then horizontal option to as uh, center so uh, here it does not work that's because we need to give the height as well as width of the uh, box view so now uh, what we are going to do actually is we are going to put the box view to start and we are going to give the height of the box view so let's uh, give the height of the box view putting the box view to the start and uh, height as 150 so that it will just uh, go to the top of the uh, ui and now uh, let's give a little bit uh, bigger height that is 250 then uh, we are going to give the corner radius so here in the corner radius section that is our properties the zero is left the another zero is right and then from bottom zero and right zero so here you can see uh, the corner radius it, it takes four parameters zero zero and then 50 comma 50 that means from the uh, bottom uh, it took uh, 50 that is from left bottom and then uh, from right bottom to it took uh, 150 that is uh, a corner radius so here you can play with those values but uh, you have to really understand is uh, the top left and right bottom the left and right is the parameter that it's, it is going to take that is our corner radius is going to take so we can create such type of uh, uh, UIs with the box view and we can just restart the application to see the expected result too so android emulator got started and here we see the expected result even if we are going to restart the application so this is the small basic tutorial of box view implementation in jaml language so in our next tutorial we'll be learning more uh, regarding the c sharp implementation of box view so keep on supporting jamrin guy project so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching